hi guys and welcome back to my channel well on today's video we'll be looking at development of two pipes of unequal diameter and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel ring the bell to get notified when i post new and exciting videos okay so if we check from the above question we're given that this part of the diagram is equal to 200 millimeter okay that means invariably the diameter of this diagram is equal to 200 millimeters now if the diameter is 200 millimeters what will be the radius the radius will now have to be 100 millimeter which is 10 cm now if i take my ruler my compass and measure 10 cm it will be very 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 big to draw my diagram so in this point we will employ scaling so i will scale my drawing to a scale of 1 is to 4 in such a way that any value I have, I will divide it by 4. So we knew that diameter was equal to 200 millimeter. So if you divide it by 4, you would then have about 50 millimeter, which is equal to 5 centimeter. Okay, now you also see that this part of it too was given as 540 millimeter. But since we scale it, so the length was given as 540 millimeter. So we'll scale it by 4, so it's about 135 millimeter okay now so with this we can now draw so the first thing i will do is that i will get um this will be the diameter that means the radius will be 2.5 yes that means the radius will be 2.5 okay all right so i will take my compass now measure 2.5 millimeter which is to reduce 2.5 now place it here towards this part of it and i'll draw okay so having done this we'll proceed okay so having drawn this circle i'll mark the center point and i'll draw a straight line upward okay passing through that center point okay now at any point any distance here, there's no specific distance i'll draw a straight line okay and then i will tangent this circle up to the straight line very straight please make sure that your work is straight Okay. now this now we're given that the length of this part of it is 135 millimeter okay you know this is the length okay so from this point here i'll measure 135 which is 13.5 okay and then at that point i'll draw a straight line let me show this so having done this okay now i'll draw a line from this part to touch it up straight to and i can make this part a little bit thicker and i'll do the same thing too for this part okay now join here oh mind you please don't make this part thicker because we we'll also draw on that pipe that is intersected here Okay. Now, if you look at it from the question, the, when given the distance between here or where we we'll start the intersection, the intersection of the pipe, so in this regard, we will look at it with our eyes and then you see that it's kind of equal. Okay, so I will get the half point of this 135 divided by, divided by 2, so about 67.5. So this is 60 67.5 is around here. Okay. Now I will get my 45 degrees set square, which is this. I'll place it this way on the straight maybe on this baseline here, and then place my set square straight on it. Okay, this is this will serve as my center point or center line for the second pipe. Okay, now having done that. We're also giving the length of the pipe, 
okay they also like so two on the equal pipe so i will take my length of this pipe to be 80 okay let me take 70 millimeter okay okay no let me let me take 80 millimeter so to let me pipe to be 80 millimeter okay i marked it on that line now again i'll place my ruler again on this place on this baseline here place my set square this way and i'll draw okay now since we're giving the diameter of this second pipe to be close to 800 millimeter that is the radius will not be four so eight millimeter that means this will not be 40 millimeter so if i scale this one is to four i will have 10 millimeter which is as one cm okay so i will have Meter as radius, okay. But we, we don't we don't really need to reduce it, we actually divide this by four, which gives us 20 millimeter. So if I having 10, so I'm going 10 from, from middle point, I'm going 10 this way and 10 this way to give me a length of 20. Okay, now I'll come again and place my set square straight, then my okay. I'll bring it down and um, I'll bring it down all right now after I've done this now I will construct a semicircle on this part of our diagram Okay, so I'll do this. Okay, so I'll do this. So I've said in, in dividing this into um, six equal parts. I'll come again and place my ruler on the base of the on this line. Okay, and place my set square this way. So I'll elongate lines. Okay, I'll begin to elongate my lines from here, coming down. From here, I'm also coming down too. From here, I'm coming down. coming down okay so i've elongated these lines now the same diameter of this pipe i will do the same thing on this part of the of the circle now watch okay so since we use the total length here to be eight centimeter i'm also coming here to i'll do the same thing from the center point and then this is eight centimeter okay at this point i will draw a straight line Remember how I marked out one one here? I'll do the same thing too for this part of it. Now go one cm up, one cm down. Okay. So once I'm done, I'll just elongate my lines. Now I'm getting these lines to the second part of the circle and also the center of the circle. So I'm putting it this way and this way. Okay. So having done this, I will also construct a semicircle of this part and divide it into six equal parts. Okay, so after I'm done with this, I will then project all these lines, put the divisions to the second part of the circle too. So I'm going from my divisions, putting the lines here, this part too, putting the lines, and this part too, projecting, and then finally this last one, project. Okay, so having done this projection, I will elongate all these lines. This okay, so this last one should pass through this one, okay, and then it should go up.
okay next one this should pass to the next one and should also go up so i have this going up and then this last one should pass to the last one so going up too okay all right so watch at this point in time i will then draw or mark at some points now i'll start with this as our beginning and start here as a end point okay so vertically opposite please watch very carefully so after here i am going vertically opposite i have somewhere here i have somewhere here but the opposite again i have somewhere here and then i have here okay now coming from this side basically opposite i have here i have here and i have here okay now i won't join this okay so i'll place my ruler here and then i'll place this this way i will and i'll get this last one which is this and then i will elongate okay so i will elongate all these divisions the post point i marked okay then this point i marked here too also coming down with it next Okay, so I'll just elongate all these lines. Okay, so at any point, I'll drop um and then draw a straight line. Okay. Yes. Next, I'm going to do is that I'm going to measure the distance between here to here. Okay, and then transfer the divisions on this line. I'm going to get 12 equal divisions. So I'm going 1 until it's up to 12. So at this point, I'll draw a perpendicular line. From all these points, okay. So, this is a So I've done this. Now I will start here and I will end here. So I'm also going to go vertically opposite. So I have this. I have here. Okay, but going vertically opposite. And I have this. Coming back, also have. Let me start from here. I'll have this. I have this. I have this. 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 this and this. Now, having done this, I will use my French group and then join these points together to form my development. So for today's video's sake, I'll be using a freehand sketch. But for your examination sake, please make it a French curve. So, I will join... I 
and then To the problem okay but other if you seek here or if you if you still wish you can elongate these lines here down down and then get a circle here it's also another low cost but this is main development of the intersection of these two on equal hype so guys we're going to the end of this this video next one of this video is um development of a cylinder if you want to learn how to develop a cylinder please go to the description part of this video click on the link there and learn how to draw this development of a cylinder all right thank you for watching this video endeavor to subscribe to my youtube channel like my videos share them and ask questions in the comments section and i would love to know what video you love me to upload next please tell me in the comment section all right thank you i'll see you next episode